Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm a little self-conscious out here because I'm out on my balcony. Um, it's the only place that has kind of half decent light. I have to sort of like um, put up shade cloth and close curtains uh, at this time of the year because my apartment unfortunately gets full sun in the afternoon and it, it just becomes way too hot. Which means that inside it's really quite dark. Um, not really ideal for painting. <laughs> anyway, so I'm out on my balcony which yeah makes me a little bit self-conscious but oh well. Um, this week, it's been a short week, of course, um, which has been lovely. It meant that uh, last weekend for me was a really productive weekend. Um, everything from just getting some admin stuff done, book work, all that kind of stuff. So um, that's always a good feeling. Um, this weekend, I've been working a little bit more on that uh, food illustration that I have been painting. So this was actually um, photographed by a friend of mine and um, it's been cooked by a chef local to Port Macquarie. Um, but I will give you more details on that when I actually finish it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's really good fun to sort of do. It's quite a challenge actually trying to get um, the areas where it's sort of um, browned and it looks quite caramel and yummy. Um, and yeah, it's quite a challenge, but of course I love a challenge. Um, I've also had some new products arrive. so. Um, I've got some new notebooks, um, which I'm pretty excited about, and um, so I've been photographing those um, as well. Sorry if you can hear the car noise. Um, so this, this Monday? No, I think it's next Monday. <laughs> um, I, I'm part of the handmade exchange market night, so I have to photograph some stock and get ready. The other new stock that arrived, I had a new um, or oh, another batch of um, parts to make earrings um, turn up, which was great. But um, if you can see these, <laughs> um, but I tried a couple of different stud designs. So I actually wear studs more than danglies, so <laughs> and I'm always told you need to make dangly earrings and big ones because that's what other people like but this time I decided just to make some um, stud earrings for me and see if the print when you print um, the design quite small if it would actually work out and look good and um, well I've claimed these so I'd say that's that's a yes <laughs> it does look good uh, so yeah I need to photograph those and get everything ready as well and um, also this morning um, I, I've decided that you know you can't just work all the time it's really not a good thing so this morning i went to uh, jerobombara wetlands which is not far from here and had a go at some bird photography not successfully <laughs> um but i did see a kingfisher so that was pretty exciting um yeah so it's been it's been a, a good week and a, and a good weekend mm -hmm. Um, Valentine's Day so happy Valentine's Day <laughs> um, and I realized too I think we're like three minutes something into this vlog and I realized that I never introduce myself so it's a bit late but um, <laughs> if you're new here uh, my name is Catherine Appleby I'm um, an illustrator part-time mostly but I have dreams <laughs> um, and yeah I make videos about my life as an illustrator um, so welcome uh, this weekend so today is Sunday as I said um, I have already spent um, yesterday just packing orders mostly and um, making um, up some stock as well so some stickers and today I need to make up some jewelry um, and I've also um, edited and uh, published a vlog for Patreon too. Um, so Patreon is this really cool community of uh, pretty much like-minded people. It's, it's 
it's lovely. Um, you can subscribe, I think it's for as little as $3 a month and as a result you get um, different benefits. So there's things like you'll always get discounts from my online shop um, and just there's different tiers so um, depending on the tier you'll get extra sort of um, videos which are often behind the scenes, um, sort of how I do things and also like um, speed painting time lapse type videos um, and you get things like goodie bags and on the top tier you also get an original painting once a year um, so it's kind of fun. <laughs> um, yeah if you want to check it out I'll leave the link uh, down in the comments. Um, so just now I am actually just looking at the time because I really should be heading off. I'm actually going to have um, a couple with a friend and then do exciting things like grocery shopping um, and then I'll be back to make up that jewellery. Catch you soon. afternoon now um, and I have just come home from work via the post office where I took a massive bag of orders um, to drop off um, and I felt really bad because um, <laughs> the lady at the post office has stamps that she needed to get rid of and she realized that that was a perfect opportunity to get rid of them um, but it meant that I left her putting stamps on like 20 or 30 different orders so, um, <laughs> yeah, whoops. Um, <laughs> my gimbal just died, so I'll need to plug that in to um, recharge. So that is why I'm all shaky, because I'm now holding this. <laughs> whoops. So this afternoon I have some more orders to package, just a couple more that came in. Um, but I also have, um, I'm working on, I don't know if you can see this, a wholesale order um, at the moment, which is to go to pop canberra um which is a really awesome shop in braddon i think i've told you guys like so many times about it but it's great supports local makers um everything from like bespoke gin <laughs> um to yeah artists and um all kinds of things in there soaps chocolates um whenever i'm looking for like gifts of any kind that is where I tend to go because it's really, really cool and I love I love what they're doing. I love that they support local makers. Um, so I have a big order um, to drop off to them. It's just about done. As you can see, there's heaps in there. Um, I just need to do some more stickers, which means actually um, printing them and getting them cut. So I have some here ready to um, package um, and I also need to package up some of my greeting cards so when I order my greeting cards which come from uh, these come from print together uh, which is a fantastic online um, shop where they will always be on recycled paper so they really they really believe in printing sustainably um, and I have then purchased some recycled envelopes and so I just need to package those up and add it to the order as well um, and then I might take a break. I literally spent the last two days just just like making products and packaging orders. Um, and then a full day of work today. And of course, I work full time as well. So um, it's going to be we have a big campaign we're working on at the moment. So it's going to be a busy week. So, um, yeah, maybe once this is done, I might rest a little bit. But actually, I don't know. I have this massive to do list um, of things that I need to get done for uh, my, my, my little biz. Um, We'll see how we go. <laughs> so while I'm packaging all this stuff, um, I just want to talk about something that's come to my attention recently and it's put me in a little bit of a dilemma. I would actually love your opinions and, and feedback on this. Um, and just a little warning, there's, I'm going to talk about stuff that I guess is uh, graphic in content. So yeah, just a little pre-warning there. So I was um, on Facebook the other night and in one of the artist groups, someone posted, um, you know, hey, are you guys going to boycott Etsy? And I didn't know what they were going on about and I did a little research 
Um, and it turns out that Etsy has sellers on their site that sell things that are related to um, child uh, sexual abuse and pornography, um, sort of child abuse themed merchandise. Um, so there's an Australian group called Collective Shout and I'll just read what they say they're about. Collective Shout is a grassroots campaign movement mobilizing and equipping individuals and groups to target corporations, advertisers, marketers and media which objectify women and sexualize girls to sell products and services. Um, so this group actually posed as a buyer for um, an Etsy shop that sells and, I, and, I'm, and I'm sorry about this. Um, they sell um, sex dolls and these dolls are made to look like 14 year old girls and um, Collective Shout posing as the buyer even asked they sent them some photos of some girls and asked if they could modify the doll to look like um, th those photos and um, anyway the answer was yes uh, so that's disgusting so um, Etsy, Etsy did take that shop down which is good they've banned them um, but it turns out there's heaps of other sellers on there that are selling sort of yeah child abuse themed um, products um, and Etsy is just not really taking responsibility for it uh, so there's now a petition to condemn Etsy's lack of corporate social responsibility um, yeah, other places that, so Collective Shout have run other campaigns for places that have had uh, sellers on there that sell these disgusting items. Um, so I think it was Alibaba um, and also Wish. They, they um, spoke to those companies and, um, you know, they took responsibility and they banned the sales of those sorts of products and they're aware of what's on their site and they act on it whereas Etsy unfortunately has not done that yet they've not taken the hard line um, I can read here from Collective Shout's website Susan McLean Australia's leading cyber safety expert and Collective Shout ambassador had this to say I was absolutely shocked and disgusted when I read the recent article about the child abuse imagery items that were being sold on Etsy why any website with an ounce of ethics or civil civic responsibility would allow this content to be openly sold on their platform beggars belief. It is bad enough that there is a market for items that encourages sexual abuse of children, but to find a platform such as Etsy peddling this content is simply not acceptable. The silence from the company since the matter was raised in media speaks volumes. We cannot remain silent and must demand better from online platforms. The sexual abuse of children is both abhorrent and illegal, and any site that aids and abets this behaviour needs to be named and shamed. 100% agree. Um, Etsy used to be just a market for handmade stuff, and, and I've been an Etsy seller since way back then. At one point, they seemed to, let's be honest, get a little bit greedy and they um, decided to open up their marketplace for more than just handmade items. Um, and I reckon it's just gone pretty much downhill since then. Um, and, now, and now this. So, the question that was posed in that group the other night, um, are you going to boycott Etsy? Um, and yeah, I don't know what to do. Like I said, I've had an Etsy shop for a long time. Um, I seem to sell regularly through their stickers and washi tape, so it is something that's good in terms of selling. But I don't want to be supporting a company that knowingly supports these sellers. That's, that's disgusting. So it's a bit of a dilemma. Um, and yeah, I'd love to hear your fee feedback and, and thoughts on this. But yeah, if, um, if Etsy is not making any move anytime soon, and I believe this has been going for a little while now, um, I think I know what I need to do. Tuesday. I've just got home from work um, and I actually went home via Pop Canberra and I dropped off that box of stock that I was packaging so that 
that was a good feeling. <laughs> so I feel like I'm actually catching up and getting through my to-do list, which is awesome. Um, but I think I will leave the vlog here. Um, in relation to that Etsy conversation I had before, I was chatting to someone, actually a workmate um, today, and um, I think what I've decided to do, you can put your shop into holiday mode. Um, and then when you do that, you can actually sort of leave a message to say, you know, hey, I've been gone for two weeks or whatever it might be. So let me know in the comments, but I think I'm going to put my shop into holiday mode um, and just put on there that I'm doing so until um, Etsy makes a stand against products um, and sellers that have products that are related to um, child abuse and all the rest. Um, and then see if I can direct them to like customers to my website. So <laughs> let me know uh, what you think about that. But to end on a happy note, um, the rest of the week looks pretty good. I've got most of the packaging and everything done. I've had a few more orders come in. Thank you so much. Um, so I will package those up and um, fingers crossed, I may actually get time to do some painting <laughs> soon. <laughs> so that will be awesome. Um, if you watch this far, thank you so much for your support. If you like the video, please do um, give it a thumbs up, please like it. Um, and if you're new here um, and would like to do so, I'd, I'd love for you to subscribe and please do leave a comment um, down in the comments and just to say hello, maybe tell me about yourself, whatever it might be. I would just really love to connect with you. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching this far and um, I hope you're having a great week. See ya.